AppWrite functions allow you to extend and customize your AppWrite server functionality by allowing you to execute your custom code inside an AppWrite environment. AppWrite can execute your custom code in response to any AppWrite system event, such as account creation, user login, document updates, and more. AppWrite functions run in a secure, isolated Docker container. By default, AppWrite supports multiple runtimes in many different languages that you can use to run your custom code. AppWrite functions can be created and deployed using the AppWrite console or the AppWrite CLI. To learn more about the AppWrite CLI, visit our docs page. To install the AppWrite CLI, visit the docs website and click on AppWrite CLI. Find the preferred installation method for your environment. Here we'll choose to install using npm. Copy the installation command, open the terminal on your machine and run the install command. After installation, verify the version of the AppWrite CLI by passing the version option to the AppWrite command. Next, configure the AppWrite CLI to connect to your AppWrite instance. Use the AppWrite client command to set up the endpoint, project ID, self certificate, sign flag, and more. You can get information about your AppWrite instance from the overview of your AppWrite project, including the project ID and API endpoint. Go back to the terminal and use the command to initialize the AppWrite client to connect to your AppWrite instance. After the client is configured, log into your AppWrite instance. Use the AppWrite login command and use your admin username and password for your AppWrite instance to authenticate. After confirmation, login is successful. Next, initialize a new AppWrite function. To create a new function, use the AppWrite init function command. This will ask you for a name for your function. If you'd like to assign a custom ID to your function, you can also use the unique function string to generate a random ID. Choose the particular runtime you would like to write your function with. Here we're going to choose Node.js and now your function is created and the initial data is sent to the AppWrite server. Looking at the generated files for this Node.js function, there's a package.json for adding dependencies and index.js that would be used as an entry point for the script, a git ignore file for any files that you want to ignore, and a readme for some general instructions on how to run the function. Generating functions with different runtimes gives you a similar initial setup. Each AppWrite function exports a function that receives a request and uses a response object to send data back to the client. In this index.js, the AppWrite SDKs are ready to use and already configured. You may have to configure additional items like the database ID or other environment variables. The AppWrite server also provides environment variables when invoking functions. You can find the complete list of environment variables in the documentation. Going back to this function, we're just responding with a JSON object that says, our developers awesome, that'll be sent back to the client when this function is invoked. Now this is just a simple function that does a single thing, but you could use this for many different purposes, including offloading things from the client, handling more extensive data processing, and more. After you've developed the function, it's time to deploy. Go back to your terminal and use the AppWrite deploy function to deploy your functions to the AppWrite instance directly from the command line. Use the spacebar to select the functions you wish to deploy and hit enter. After the function or functions are deployed, visit the AppWrite console to view more details and configuration. To view more information about functions, in the AppWrite console, click on Functions on the side menu and click Settings for the function we deployed. In the Overview tab for the function, you can view information about the function, including its unique ID. You can view the function data as JSON and also delete the function if necessary. The Deployment section displays each deployed version of the function. You can also create a deployment directly from the AppWrite console. Click Create Deployment and you are presented with instructions on CLI deployment and manual deployment. Click on the manual tab. As before, we will enter an entry point for this function and upload a gzipped tar file of the code itself. Check whether you want to activate deployment after build and click create. This is handled for you on the command line with the AppWrite CLI. To manage settings for the function, click on the settings tab. Here you can change the name of the function, choose what execution permission the function has, and update the timeout if needed. 
You can control which events trigger the function. To add a listener for a new event, click Add Event. From the drop down, select an event to trigger. In this case, we can choose Documents.Create to listen for it when any document is created. You can filter these events by database, collection, and document ID if needed. Click Add Event. This will list the events that you're listening for in the Events section. Click Update to save the changes. You can also have your function periodically run on a schedule using a cron job. Use the schedule input box with standard cron syntax for scheduling. Custom environment variables are also provided when the function is triggered. Going back to the Node.js function, in order to use the AppRight SDK, the function endpoint and the function API key and variables are needed. For the function endpoint, it should resolve to the external IP address or host name of your AppRight instance. So to add an environment variable, Click Add Variable, enter the name for the variable. We're going to use the function endpoint and enter the value. For the function API key, you can use the API keys menu on the left to add an API key to copy. Here we're going to use a placeholder function API key and a placeholder value. Click Update to save. Go back to the overview page to manually trigger the function. Click on Execute Now. Before executing a function, you can also provide custom data encoded as JSON to pass to the function. Click on Execute Now to queue the function, and the function has been executed. To view the function executions and status, click on View Logs. Here you can view the output from the function. If the function completed successfully, you can view the output that was returned by the function. If the function failed to complete successfully, you can click on the errors to view them for further debugging. Visit the Monitors tab for information that is periodically collected of function executions, CPU time, and errors. AppRight functions are available through the AppRight console, through the AppRight SDKs, and directly through the REST APIs. AppRight functions allow you to extend the functionality of AppRight even further to fit your custom use cases.